for science! Science! Welcome everybody to Dills and Lane Dude Deck Techs. That's a name, I guess. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about Gruel Super Friends. Uh, this is a deck that I recently kind of came across because I played against it, first of all. And I was like, oh, that seemed like a solid deck. I always liked the red-green combination as well, by the way. Uh, it always felt good to me because it's very like, here's some minions, and you also have some removal to back it up by like, I can kill your minions, and then my minions get to hit your face. It seems like a very straightforward way to play Magic. And early on when I started playing, uh, that was like one of the decks that I just gravitated towards. I was like, this makes sense. Like green creatures mm -hmm. and red removal. All right. I can get behind that. So this deck follows a lot along that game plan, right? Um, there's a lot of like strong mid-range creatures, a couple of pretty good planeswalkers, and then shocks and lightning strikes uh, to just kind of get through. So what's your, do you have experience with this deck lane? Yeah, I've played this deck a good bit. It, it's named Super Friends on like uh, on a lot of the websites and everything. But Super Friends to me usually means like the planeswalkers interact with each other. Yeah, like and you we have just four have planeswalkers on the field at once, and they all kind of yeah each other. Yeah, like the new Sarkon, the Masterless. He does that. He activates your planeswalkers to become dragons, and I think this just falls under like a good red green aggro mid range. But uh, you could change it. You could easily change it. Drop the Siege Gate Commanders for the Sarkons. But there's so much Planeswalker hate running around mm. because, like we talked about, War of the Spark has 36 Planeswalkers by itself in that standard or in that set. And you see a lot of them. There's yeah. a lot of it. So I think this will take advantage of that. And like you said, like red greens are very good, like big things. Like sure. that's it's a good big things uh, archetype. So the only Planeswalkers we're running are the Domeries. Uh, and that's it. So that, there's your two super friends right there, which I, I guess I was confused too when I saw that the people were calling it super friends. Because to me, when I looked at this, I just said, this is rule mid-range. What you'll walkers. find out is Wizards of the Coast likes to name stuff different. Like, they don't want it to all be gruel mid-range. So what yeah, they'll do is... there is another deck that's called gruel mid-range, right? That's yes. similar, but slightly different. They just like to, yeah. They, like, each card, like... They want it to be like there's a Gruel mid range, there's a Gruel super friends, there's a Gruel aggro, but each deck only has like a three to ten card difference. Hmm. But because they want to show sometimes the diverseness of the deck, but yeah, like this is just I, I like would a call this like Gruel Domery or something like that. Then right because Domery yeah. is you know kind of the if you want to talk about a theme running through, I guess that would be it because Domery. Well, so what this deck kind of so I guess we just kind of talk about how this deck's games play out, right? It, What it does is it kind of ramps into creatures quickly. So you got your Land of War Elves, and like your best curve would be to like Land of War Elves on one, and then on two, drop a Legion War Boss or a Gruel Spellbreaker, right? Or a Domery himself, because he yeah. ramps as well. Yeah, like that's he... true, because then, yeah, then you can immediately use him to ramp. Uh, and mm -hmm. like, let's say you were to like go Land of War Elves one, turn two, Domery ramp into another elves, right? Like something like that. Then you're talking turn three, you're dropping like a siege gang commander. Yeah. Or yeah. you're just attacking. Cause since Domery, like the three drop one, uh, pumps their attack. Yeah. They become certainly good beaters. Like yeah. at that point. And like, that's you'll, you, we'll see in the games that this is going to play. Out. So the other uh, card that I find seems to carry the deck a little bit is this growth chamber guardian. Absolutely. Um, Cause what you do with this is when you play, if you get the growth chamber, chamber guardian down on two, it's a two, two. Then on three, you adapt it, which means uh, you put two counters on it. Correct. So you turn it into a four, four instantly. And when you pump it with the adapt, which is on the card itself. So you actually then go in and find another growth chamber commander. So basically what they do is they kind of chain into each other. You play one, then you always have the second one. And so then when you play the second one, you always have the third one, and then you always have the fourth one. So it's just like it allows you to just fill your board up with four fours and uh, start doing the beatdowns. Um, the other car, the other uh, two drop in the deck, besides, oh, we got Lightning Strike. The other two drop is a Thorn Lieutenant. This is basically a two-three that pumps as well. Um, 
but you also, usually don't pump it. It's the first ability that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it's like uh, it's like sticky because when someone targets it to try to kill it, it makes a one one. Right. That's basically the idea behind this card. I do find though that later turns, I I'm pumping it because oftentimes what this deck tends to do is run out of stuff in hand. Yeah. And have a lot of stuff on board, and so I have six mana to do this plus four plus four. It does. You're right though. It doesn't happen early on in the game. It's a pretty expensive ability. Uh, the Legion War Boss is basically a, an ability to go wide. Um, the, I find the Mentor doesn't come into play that often because you don't attack with your War Boss. You're not attacking with it very often. Yeah, you're just using it to generate one ones uh, every single turn, and the uh, the one ones come out instantly. So the turn you play it, uh, you have to play it before your combat step, but you play it and you instantly get a one one goblin creature that's attacking. And so that helps you like get a little bit of early chip damage as well as um, you know just kind of put the pressure on your opponent to have to start dealing with stuff. If you can use if you can get your opponent to like use removal on this, then suddenly like gruel spellbreakers and stuff stick around. Legion War Boss and Gruel Spellbreakers how you get rid of planeswalkers usually. Mm. Like oh, very yeah, like fast putting things. the putting the haste on your spellbreaker and stuff to yeah. be able to instantly attack planeswalkers. Yeah. And it has trample, so yeah. like another thing like even but most of the time like They'll just tap out, not leave back because that's you can't always play around everything. Like yeah. you can't. So sometimes you'll, you'll, your war boss token will get in for one to get rid of a planeswalker, or you just spell break. Yeah. Uh, then the top of the curve, uh, we've got Rip Jaw Raptor. Only two of these on four. These are fairly new. To the deck. Yes. Yeah. Like in the last like few days, because there's so much mono red and there's so much little stuff going around with mono white. Uh, Rip Jaw Raptor is a good just Basically, wall it's just a big up. blocker that kind of stops your opponent from attacking, right? Because they don't want to feed you cards every time they There's attack. only one non-kill spell. So the kill spells can get rid of it, but there's only one burn spell that can do the whole... What is it, Lava Axe? Uh, Lava Axe is only face. It's oh. a fight with fire. Okay. From Dominary, that's the one people usually play. That's the only one that deals five, and that's not even around right now, really. So you have to use, like, destroy a, cast a down. creature removal... Stuff, yeah. stuff like mortifies and things yep exactly yeah. like stuff we saw in our last deck tech with mortifies and different kill spells like that but yeah there's not a lot of burn so rip jaw raptor usually is just a good good hold the door it kind of stops mono red in its tracks yep. i guess yeah it does all right so then we've got our big dome right here uh it's four mana it's again another um ramping planeswalker um but also what it does is when you ramp and then use that mana on a creature the creature gets riot um so that's if, pretty sweet. Yeah. You can if put they Riot already on the Ripjaw Raptor. That's awesome. Well, Riot with Spellbreaker, he would get double Riot. Oh, that's that works. true. Yeah, you could go plus one and the haste. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then also it allows you to basically find stuff because one thing I found with this deck is it does kind of run out of gas. So doing the minus three, look at the top four cards of your library. You maybe reveal up to two creature cards from them and put them into your hand. So I tend to, there's a lot of creatures in this deck. I tend to find two creatures quite often. Um, I usually see myself doing this first because if yeah. I play this on four, or I'm if I even play this on ramping. three, yeah, yeah, you're not. Re you, it's the next turn, so yeah. this is when you would want to refill your hand a little bit, get some get some meat back in it, and of uh, using the riot the next turn. And hopefully, you're ahead enough on board that you have blockers in place to be able to protect it as well. Yep. At that point, that's the idea anyway. You're supposed to be ahead on board. Uh, and then the uh, Siege Gang Commander is the very tip top of the curve, five mana. Basically, it's a 2-2 two, two, and three one ones. But then also it allows you to start picking off opponents, minions, get blockers out of the way, deal with aggro that way as well, because you can actually sacrifice one of these goblin tokens and deal two damage to anything. You can also swing in, and then after you've swung, you can then burn their face down with these goblins yeah. too, if you like. Like so. if they see how they block, and this is... We use those goblin tokens or the war boss tokens as well. If they haven't died by now, we can sack those war boss tokens with Siege Gang Command. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is a goblin token as well. Yeah. Yep. Um, so one thing that I've noticed you can do as well is like you can just send these guys in. They're one ones and someone will like declare blockers. And then like before damage, you just go like, well, I'm just going to sack these guys and deal two instead of like. But yep. it, it kind of it, like forces them to start making decisions on how to defend and things like that. And a lot of times I see people just don't defend because they're just like, no, I mean, if I defend that, 
then it's I'm just he's gonna ping me with it instead, right? So I, it's like it's it's a card that, that forces your opponent to like react. You may, it allows you to be the one being proactive and aggressive. Uh, let's go over the sideboard real quick. Uh, we made one decision ourselves here. The the sideboard that I had uh, found online, we took out what was the card we took out? Living Twister. Living Twister. It's the three mana two five with very strange land-based abilities on it. But uh, we got rid of that. Uh, instead, what we've got is we've got one Sheev on Fire, which I imagine this is for dealing with aggro decks uh, to be able to, like, one yeah. mana kill something. Early. Other land of warrior. I, I like using it against another land of warrior elves as well. Okay. Uh, but mostly, yeah, your mono whites, your mono reds. But, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, for one mana, I can deal two damage to a creature. Uh, and that allows me to maybe push my own damage through. Uh, things like that. The kicker is ridiculous. Yeah. Kicker for four? <laughs> like, you never do that, right? You never do. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, like, if we need to deal four, we put in Lava Coils. Also, Lava Coils allow us to deal with um, with uh, rekindling phoenixes and yep. just flyers in general. Arc Light um, Phoenix is coming back as well. The uh, If you cast three instants or sorceries, it comes back to you uh, when you go to attack. So just to get exile that, that's that's a big one as well. Sure. Uh, then we got the Dire Fleet Daredevils. So I imagine this is like an anti-control type card. I use it against Burn as well. Oh, okay. The first strike matters against their little dudes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and like if you get it like turn three or four, get one of their burn spells, burn a thing, have it. But yeah, control too. I like it taking like a, a Duress or a Thought Eraser or... Yeah, because um, it allows you to, like to cast things that aren't in your color base, right? So Yeah, you can cast them for any color. But uh, yeah, it, it's just a good utility for okay. uh, some of those decks. Uh, and then we've got Collision Colossus, another like anti-flyer attack card. Um, also, the fact that it deals six or two. Like I talked about, there's one card called Fight with Fire. It deals five. Yeah. Uh, but some, like, it's, I think it's sorcery speed, collision. Lyra is the card that this gets rid of. Lyra is oh, the five the big mana. Fly, white angel card. Yes. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah. coming back around. Okay. Our deck has nothing to, no way to deal with it. Sure. So this is how we deal with it. Yeah. If that comes out, we literally can't interact at all. That like, and Vivian. With Vivian. Uh, yeah. Oh sure, um, but yeah, like the the only other removal that we have is the uh, lightning strikes and the shocks, right? And those deal three and two. So, uh, thrashing brontodon is how we deal destroy artifacts and enchantment decks. Um, there's only two of them in here, but uh, just getting rid of one key artifact or enchantment usually kind of does the job, right? Mono red, mono white again. Mm -hmm. uh, getting rid of their frenzies, but also just a blocker against yeah. like those things, like a three four. And then you said the Sorcerer Spyglass is mainly there to combat uh, Planeswalkers. That makes sense. Yep. You just basically turn them off. Vivian Reed, another uh, anti-flying tech. Um, but also, I mean, you can use it if you just need some more juice and stuff like that because it's another way to, to uh, find creatures and stuff. But obviously, I think it mostly this is there for the anti-flying tech, right? Correct. Yeah. Yep. And then Mobilized District. I'm not sure about this one. What's the deal here? Uh, it's for control, like late in the game, like, like if they keep doing board wipes like uh, Kaya's Wrath or Cleansing Nova. Uh, it's just a hard thing to get rid of sometimes just with those. another way to make a, a minion, huh? A creature? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I guess, you know, we do run a decent amount of Planeswalkers, and do we have legendary creatures? Nope. We have none. So it's only Planeswalkers one. that make it cheaper, huh? More than likely, we're just, if we ever play it, it's going to be for four mana. Okay. It's not going to be strong. It's All right. Strong. Well, let's get out there and play some games with this bad boy. Uh, I am... Uh... There's a Zip Phoenix. <laughs> I am still pretty low ranked right now. I think I'm silver? That's why I don't want to go on my account sometimes, because I'm afraid, like, it may take us a little bit to get that W. Mm. Well, but I think, I think, though, that also some people might want to watch... That's true. Higher level and see the meta at like Mythic and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I'm about to hit Mythic again back to back. Like okay. that's. Oh, man. All right. Uh, this hand looks pretty solid. We can do the land war into the war boss. Absolutely. Well, can't wait. Can we do that? We'd have to do. We have the force. We'd have to do the stomping ground, right? We can do forest on one into land of war elf. See if we draw that mountain turn two. If not, we have that stomping if ground not, back up for that war ground? boss. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah let's keep this, right? And we also yeah. got the Domery, yeah. Seems like a pretty solid hand to me. 
I played a deck like this before War of the Spark for about three or four months, and this is a very common hand. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of what you're looking for, right? Like, you're, you're like, okay, I'm... By the way, we're on the... We're on the play. play. So that means we're, like, in super advantage here because we're going to be doing a three-drop where my opponent... Oh, okay. So we're looking at mono-white here. This is the mono-white aggro deck, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, we like still doing the war boss, right? Yeah, because if they block with their 1-1, one, one, then great. We sure. still have our war boss. We didn't really do anything. And then next turn, we have removal for that uh, that marshal or anything else they play. That's true. Yep. Yeah, next turn, we can actually domery and... No, we can't domery and lightning strike, can we? We'll have access uh, to... No. No, only we'll one. Access to four. So we have two plays here. Uh, I'll let you know which one you see which one you want to do. We can uh, oh. play our Domery. We can have our Legion War Boss fight that little 1 1, get that off the board, and then he just has a 2 2. Or we can just shock down that 2 2 with that Lightning Strike. Yeah, I kind of like just doing the Lightning Strike and then dropping another Land of War because it Sounds allows good. us to swing in with the 2 2 and we'll apply of two Goblins attacking as well, right? Yep. I think that's the better play. Pretty strong yep. turn to me. Get this thing out of the way before it starts to do stuff. Plus, it has first strike, and that would have been very, yeah, very bad for I us. I do want this forest, right? So I can yeah. land a war. Yep. I think we offer up the land of war elf here too. Uh, we have a good mana here. We have four on the field uh, with the other land of war. Do this? Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm in. You can even put the that mentor token on Land of War oh, or the true. Goblin. That seems super solid. Uh, and what they added to Arena since we've been on it uh, together. Okay, there my opponent we go. is conceded now. <laughs> they added um, chess clocks. Okay. But what does there that do? we go. A chess clock? Yeah. Um, it, it's under our timer. It's just you now have 30 minutes maximum oh, per each Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than like a, t a timer for each turn. Yeah, because like with Hearthstone, I, uh, we, you and I have talked about this before, like the games can drag out, even sure. though in Paper Magic you only have an hour. So they, they want to do that. Uh, we'll show you in this next game uh, where that happens. But here we go. All right. So we've got three lands and a fairly expensive hand. No ramp, but... Um... It feels like this is okay. Not great. It's not the but best. It's fine. We're not doing like this. So this is a game where we'll. Uh, oops. Hold on. Let me fix something here. Um, we can deal with one thing. Yeah. This is uh, a game where we'll we'll probably see how this deck works if it doesn't get off to its hot start, which I'm. Kind and of curious yeah, about. and we're on the we're on the draw. Yeah. So if we we like. We're gonna we're gonna we're doing the exact opposite that happened last time. Yeah. So if you want to hover over these little hourglasses that give us the uh, this? the timeouts. Yeah. Oh, for you it's not showing the maybe it's just in best of three that timer. Oh yeah. But that's yeah, usually that where the timer sense. would be. That makes sense. Uh, so since we're not really doing anything, we can do um, throw that guild gate right now. now. Oh yeah. Do we do this one that's always tapped first? Yeah. Okay. Yep. If if they were a more aggressive color, like if I think they would be playing like a very intimidating creature here on two, I'd be more. Whoa, cool. Crew deck. Yep, this is a mechanic that they can for two. They have to tap a two power creature, and then basically they're boarding this vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they have to tap down something that costs two mana, right? Two two power. It has to be oh, a two, two power. power. Oh, yeah. the mana doesn't matter. Okay. Right. So they need some sort of other creature on board, and then they can turn this into a creature. Yep. Okay. But we did draw a good two mana guy. Oh, yeah. So let's... So, um, let's just play forest. on curve here. Actually, is there any... I think I'm just going to play the mountain, actually. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is our guy that's sticky because when you try to spin removal on him, creates a 1-1 green elf void. And if they play something here that's real intimidating, we can play our three mana domery to fight it. Well, this is a 1-3. Not going to mm -hmm. happen. So is that until end of turn he made that a 5-5? Five, five? Or is that forever? 
<coughs> um, as long as that's on the battlefield. Becomes an artifact creature with a base power and toughness 5-5 five, five for as long as it remains on the battlefield. Okay. Well, I'm not blocking a 5-5 five, five and dying. Not yet. Not right yet. Okay, so now it's just the creature now, huh? Yeah, until we can get rid of that 1-3. Wow. Uh, okay, so we could go for, like, the attack and then see if he blocks, then do the shock? Absolutely. Yeah, let's go ahead and see. All right. Is, what else? If that doesn't work, I guess we're just dropping a gruel. Yep, yep. That that was the plan. That we'll play the gruel spell breaker. If he if if he does block, then we're we're in business. Yeah. But if then the next thing we can do the dome remake him fight, right? Yep. Then we'll okay. play play the spell breaker, make the spell breaker fight All with right. the dome. Yep. Okay. You got it. Okay. I have a feeling that he's gonna to want to protect this skilled animator. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And then we just got in two damage for sure. that we snuck in. I'm making this a four four. Absolutely. We don't oh, need to well, get yeah, because the there's no reason yeah. to haste it. I guess we could have gone for the early, play it early and make it haste, but then it's like we never get the opportunity to to kill the skilled animator that way. Uh, well, yeah, I think it would be the three three, and we would still get to fight it next turn. But you got to also remember, Domri fights next turn. And that means, oh. Hmm. Well, there's three mana up, so I don't think he would do this without some sort of... You think there's trickery afoot? Yeah. <laughs> this is what I always think. It really Jeez. it ruins our plan if we block with this gruel and then it dies, right? But what if he still does it? Like, is there something, like, that he can just return it to our hand or something? Like... Doing something, man. There's no reason to do this. I think I'd just take this one damage. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to take the five anyway. Yeah, what we're taking we could, the five no matter what. If he does pop it back here, what we'll do, let's just see first, and then we'll I'll let you know the plan. Ooh, a gin. Okay. Well, so we're going to do our plan then, right? Oh, yeah, because if us getting rid of this one three, we're, we're basically, we're, basically we're, we're saving. Five, five as well. Yeah, we're getting, we're saving six damage that's been punching us. Yeah. He has no mana up, so this is real yeah, safe. This is always safe. Normally, I would say we could get rid of the gin here, but since like we're well, yeah, saving, yeah, we could get so rid much... of the gin because now we can actually block the silence of yeah. with our five. You want to do that? Yeah, I like that better actually. So we can't block the gin. The gin is in the air. Yeah, and it can get it can get bigger fast whenever he plays islands. So this seems finished, the this seems good. And now we can attack with the Thorn Lieutenant. Um, yeah, I could see that. Uh, or we could also hold it back. That's fine too. Because it means that he won't be okay. able to attack with the animator again, right? Yep. I think if we leave it back here, we still have that shock open. So let's say we go to block and he bounces back our spell breaker. We still have that three damage. Yeah. And then we could use that shock sure. if we really want to get rid of this silent submarine. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I think blockers is kind of important for us right now, especially now that we put this domery up. My opponent might feel like the domery needs to die. I don't think he'd be scared of it right now because it's yeah. I mean, it's not going to. It's already two did again. Stand. Yeah. Okay. You're oh, going or for not. the attack. All right. So we are going to block, right? Oh, absolutely. Do we block with the three three and do the shock? Uh, I block both. Oh, just put both into it. Yeah. See what he does. We can put the shock in, and then we'll we'll get a one one. But I think just getting rid of this. Yeah, just this making sure that this dies. The only thing that would be bad here is if he pumped it in any way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And could get rid of both what, of our what, guys. What blue spell pumps? That I am also drawing a blank there. That's why I'm <laughs> I'm more safe into doing this. Like, yeah. I feel right, more so safe. So you decided to just make the trade. Okay. Sounds good. By the way, did that creature have trample? Nope. Does Ours it, did. This still took two. Yeah. So he had oh, five. Oh, because he had damage. five, and the, yeah, 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 yeah. That had nothing to do with trample. Okay. Well, that worked out great. Um, they left mana up, which is a little bit weird. Um, I feel like Legion War Boss is where we want to go here. 
Because uh, the one one will attack will probably block with this, and then we can shock it. Yeah, sounds good. Um, and then we're just going to plus this, because that makes it so that this Legion War Boss cannot be countered, because there is three mana yep. up. Okay. That's a big thing right now, too. We use Domri just for ramp. We forget that it also has that ability. Yeah, no, the the creatures can't be countered is sick. Huge. It's giant. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess this doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. Does this automatically use my floating one? Yes, it does. Yeah, it's only so tapping two. Yeah, okay. if you're hovering it now, yep, it'll yeah. show you. Yeah, these are the two lands I would want to tap. I don't want to keep up the forest and this cruel guild gate. And um, our token is also a two one. Oh, that's true. That's not, yeah. All right, this is a good turn to play this too because we don't need this mana. Yep. All right. Let's go to combat, baby. My opponent has a lot of cards in his hand. It it kind of freaks me out. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Like I, I want to see what's going on. Right, I wish well, I'm, we. I'm attacking with. Um, oh, both our dudes. Thorn, yeah. Yeah. He's blocking. I can already see him clicking. <laughs> My opponent is clicking on the screen. Okay. Let's throw. Yeah, we can throw that shock. If he counters this, whatever. We we can make a token now every turn. We don't care. Yeah. The skill animator doesn't really scare me at all right now. It's just like I would like my tokens to be able to get through. Draw card. Sure. All right. And this is what we talked about in the deck tech. Well, more than likely with this Domri, we're just going to try to get two dudes. Mm -hmm. The one in our hand. Yeah, like that's that's probably what like because yeah, that's what we do yeah we're minus three okay no we're gonna rip jaw raptor is what he we're discarded do. so if we didn't if you saw he flashed back his radical idea getting rid of an ugin he needs mana bad wow yeah so that's got rid of an thing. expensive yeah. card and also he's missed land drops a bunch of times now um yeah so we're just gonna plus this again we're gonna rip jaw is, raptor is my bread we can or we can domri do we have enough for both we don't have enough for we both for both i kind of just want to just go for the jugular yeah. no, well for domri too remember we can set up with that riot next turn too yeah since he can give like our rip jaws or like also just going for the jug swipe. i i think yeah like he needs just showing like him a, yeah he this needs like is a full also, board wipe right this there would also be an argument of not playing the rip jaw there um overextending like we have lethal on the board he would sure. have to get rid of something so holding that rip draw but, but like i feel like my opponent's response next turn is going to have to be some removal and he has one and it's at six mana so i'm all that's all i'm saying what's the river's what's... rebuke is the one that they've been using okay okay so he's turning this globe into, globe a five into a five five yeah but we can just we can just uh Get right through it if we want to, right? Well, we can do this and then just kill the skilled animator. Yeah. Minus do this and just kill the skilled animator. And Absolutely. Just goes away, and then we just goes away for lethal. He's dead. And we draw a card. Doesn't matter because he's still dead. <laughs> but we I get know. And we take card. damage and draw a card. <laughs> That's pretty sick, right there. All right, I'm going to damage. This is one of the fun decks I give to usually, in, like, I give to entry-level people, but also veterans. Because this deck's just fun. Yeah. I mean, we are just smashing my opponent to death. We could have pumped the Thorn Lieutenant there for extra damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we got a couple of good uh, best of ones there. Oh, look, we're ranking up. Do you think this would be a deck that could get you all the way to Mythic? Absolutely. Or is this deck running out of steam at some point? No, it could get you there? Okay. All right, let's go to some traditional ranks. And see if we can uh, find a good game where we can talk through our side here. There's a Twitter ran by local, or not local, like big Twitter pros called Arena Decklist mm -hmm. on Twitter. And that show people, not just pros, like guys like you, me, whatever, that show like, this is the deck I made to Mythic. And Gruul is there all the sure. time. Okay. I mean, just, yeah, it seems like a deck, because kind of the, the, the way to get to Mythic, is similar to like Hearthstone, where you just need a deck that edges you over 50 percent and it seems like this deck will win enough like games where you kind of cheese people out with that land of war into three drop shenanigans right mm -hmm. um what do you think this is slow as shit uh this is the first one that i think a good mulligan yeah 
Because basically, what? if you if you think about what's going to happen here, we're never going to do anything until turn three. And then we've got double Domri, and one Domri is fine, but two doesn't, I mean... Last time we had a shock to deal with anything that we were yeah, scared of. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think, I think this hand's a yeah, lot. this is way better. Because now Plus we're we actually... Plus we get to scry, and we get to draw that scry. And we're adapting, and the growth chamber basically begets more growth chambers, right? So... Uh, has they have they put in the new? We want to keep that, right? Oh yeah. Have they put in the new? Are they putting in the new Mulligan thing anytime soon? Uh, uh tomorrow. Good. Oh, okay. I'm glad you asked. Um, they're starting. So tomorrow there's an event. If you see on the the, the front, it's popper right now. It's moving to. Uh, can do you? To, do I need to kill uh, this? Just play the stomping ground untapped here. See what he does during his turn. Uh, and then we'll see. Yeah, just shock it in here. Wait. Yeah. Pay the two life, right? And shock. Pay it. the two okay. life. Yep. Because basically, I want I want to be able to play the growth chamber next turn. Yeah, and this also like if he plays something big, um, I don't care to take the one from the hawk. I just want to see what he's playing on turn two. Sure. Uh, there's one. Yeah. I would just kill that other hawk. So we're just gonna kill the hawk that's gonna attack me right now. Yeah, not too scary. Uh, he may be back on mana. But yeah, they added a new mulligan rule to magic. So what we just did is from seven go to six, we get to look at the top. The new mulligan, yeah, it's just land growth chamber here. The new London mulligan, which was tested in London for the Mythic Championship slash Pro Tour, is you get to draw seven on a mulligan, and for each time you did, put one back. So, yeah, like, so basically you always draw seven each time, and then, and then you... So like the first time you mulligan, you draw seven new ones, and then you pick one and you put and you throw it away, right? Or do you, yeah, do you always put it on the bottom? You always put it on the bottom. So it's like you you never get to scry and know what your next draw is, but you get to see seven cards and then pick like the worst one, and get rid of that one, which means you have a higher chance to like find a good hand. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, we're just gonna land here, attack, see if he blocks. We're gonna pump you here, no matter what. Yeah, so we're going to make the attack before the pump happens, right? Yeah, let's just go attack, see what happens. We're going to pump. It's just yeah, it's just it, it, usual magic like that. Um, they're doing this on the mulligan. Now I since, pump, right? Yeah, yeah. They're, since they're moving into esports, and like we talked about earlier with the Red Bull and all these different uh, people coming in, yeah, we take action. Um, it shows that they didn't want – they want magic to be more watchable. and since They, they if, want less non-games. That's what you yeah, because what, what happened in a pro tour not too long ago is a guy mauled the four and the game was over. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can fight here too. We can either play another Grow Chamber Guardian or we can play the Domery and just have our thing fight a thing. We can also play this Domery, but this doesn't really do anything for us right now. So you're saying play this Domery and kill this Healer's Hawk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can in that kill scenario, the Healer's Hawk. We then don't make an attack with this though. I think we thousand percent attack. Yeah, but then our domer just dies. We're attacking him for five. That's true. Because he can choose either to leave it back or deal the domery, and then we hit him for another five. Yeah, I guess that's that's a good point. Okay, I like it. We're basically yeah trading in this domery for ten damage. Or oh. yep. Or my opponent is going to mulligan. All right, so we know he's a weenie white deck, right? So what sideboard cards help in that scenario? Um, Thrashing Bronodon against History of Banalia. Oh, that's the... true. So we want both of those? Also, that would have been a good blocker there just to have as a body. Do I want the Shim um, on Fire? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, what cards do we not care? Oh, what about Dire Fleet Daredevil? Uh, no, I think, like, if he... Because usually enough, white right? doesn't... Yeah, why does it have that much instant or sorceries? But do we want to uh, like just dump like the big domery? Yeah, dump one of those. Legion War Boss, I would go down here one too, because more than likely he'll just a lot of his stuff too. Maybe. Yeah, but I like the toga generation. Yeah, of this. maybe a Thorn Lieutenant because if they want to put stuff, this is where it gets a little wonky. I would I would just cut my like high end and just. That's fine. I, yeah, I, yeah. I think it's like it feels like what's gonna happen. Is we're just gonna we're gonna fight early. Yeah, that seems great. It's, it's gonna I'm be about the early minions, right? Not yeah. not my five drops. Yeah. Actually I think let's go back to this and maybe just go. Yeah. 
Yeah, because we won the game there with just we big dumb early siege game commander. We probably are just going to win with if that game gets to that point. Yeah, we probably won the game, right? So what deck are you playing at Mythic right or to get to Mythic right now? Um, I'm playing actually. I was talking about this today, um, with a few of my buddies. It's the deck we played last time. Yeah. Uh, this is a mulligan. The mid range, huh? Yeah, I'm playing with my the Hero Precinct One deck. Uh, it's been updated a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm playing that to so to grind. Through. This is a mulligan because we only have one land, and it comes into play tapped. Yeah. Okay. If it was untapped, then absolutely, this hand is a thousand times better. Yeah. Yeah, because we the one thing one we're missing red. is red mana, but we know we can at least Thorn Lieutenant on two and then do it again on three if we don't even find another mana. Yeah, and with that mulligan rule, we would have got to look at this extra so card. We we don't need that. This goes to the bottom. Yeah. yeah, we want this to be a red mana. So with that new London mulligan, that would have been in our hand and we could have bottomed one of those. We would have seen... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what we would have seen is we would have seen that we had three... Lieutenants, bam, we're really good at this game, aren't we? I w the, the decks we've been picking, and this is why reason, is one that people could pick up if you're new to Magic and just do well with. It's yeah. not free to play, because of course it's Magic, but it's still, Woo. gosh, that draw was great. Uh, Alright, so do I want to haste this? And yes, just, yeah. absolutely. Let's we're haste this bad damage. boy and get some damage. We only saw little stuff game one against him. We have Trample. His things are just 1-1s one that we've seen. This, Yeah, we're, we're playing Magic the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Shield Bear, cool. So wait, what does that do? It gains him life, I know that, right? Enters a battlefield or becomes a target of a spell or ability. He gains three. Mm. It can't be blocked by red creatures. Okay. Um, I think we just want this guy, right? Yep. And we just attack. Yeah. Attack in with the squad. Yep, sure. that's fine. Get him for five. So he does have this healer's I, hawk. I guess there's there's the ability to potentially pump that and get a lot of life. If he it. if he has a thing to pump it, then yeah. But there's not a lot of white pump. Yeah, effect. most of them are like combat like trick style things, aren't they? Not like yeah, it's like that stuff. feather deck. I think you may have ran into like a red white and like mm -hmm. pump their things, but this is not. Yeah, the Aurelia, right? Yeah. Yep. Things. yeah. So if they attack with their healer's hawk here, more than likely they're okay. Cool. So what awesome. did he do here? He revealed the creature card and put it into his hand. Yep. So same thing as last time. I believe we we leave the Legion War Boss back. Yeah, and we then, don't want to send a two two into two threes. But I think we send the one one, and if he blocks with that, the yeah, shield mayor again. That, right? Yeah. Like either one. Because what's going to happen here is I bet you, here's my call. Shield Mayor will go into the War Boss token. Yeah, leave the War Boss back. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, the Bugler is going to go into the Thorn Lieutenant thinking nothing's going to happen. Yeah. So we'll probably want to get to the Bugler because we. I kind of don't want him to gain three life, but better to get rid of it now. Okay, yeah, so I think we, we're going to double shock most of the time here, right? Oh, no, we can only shock. We only have one. Yeah, yeah, we only have one red. If we had the other red, that'd be great. We're, yeah, shock this red. Is he gonna? Hmm. Hmm. Yep, exactly what I said. So we can get rid of one. Do you want to have him gain three life, or and we can we just get rid of a one one, or do you want to get rid of the the, the vigilance too? Get rid of the vigilance, bro. That's fine. He won't gain life that way, and we get to keep our thorn lieutenant. Yeah, and he's also still taking three damage. Mm -hmm. It's or usually the power of War Boss. Thorn Lieutenant. Yep. Legion War Boss. Pretty good. So this card is the one we have to be a little bit concerned about, right? Uh, he's never attacked. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because if he attacks with three guys, we get to attack back for a lot. He's always attacking with his healing talk. That's basically what's happening. Hmm. Um, we need to find another mana. What we can do here is I think before combat, we can shock the mentor the meat. Yeah, shock this first. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, because um, if he goes to block first, that's damage that we could have got yeah, in. Yeah, like then the damage doesn't count, right? Because the block we still happens. Yeah, we could have done it during attack. Right now, doesn't matter. Either I, I would rather have all of this damage go through. 
Yep, and just leave the war boss back, and we're good. We're basically just trying to. We're, we're racing at this point, and we're his racing. deck is not good at racing. Yeah. It's supposed to be the faster one. Yeah. So when you get outpaced by something like this, we have three mana, and we're doing this off three <laughs> mana. I know, dude. This is pretty disgusting, actually. Are we gonna get all of our uh, all of our games in this quickly? <laughs> Be able to move on to another deck? You could throw 100% win rate on this. Yeah, right. Let's, uh... What's that do? One three? Is it when a text it gives another thing fine? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Technically, this makes us able to cast the uh, Domery next turn if we want to, right? But uh, we're just gonna move to attacks. He's gonna do some double blocking, isn't he? Oh man, I think so. Do we have to maybe not attack this turn and try to dome re and find uh find But that gas? means we're two turns off of something. So I'm trying to think what a block would be. He'd block a two three with the one Can one. Send to kill everything the spellbreaker. In. He could double block a two three. Um I think we send everything in. Chump block. Yeah, I I think I don't care about double blocking, right? Yeah, I think we send everything in except the war boss again because if we get like a shock or something. Yeah. It still may have been okay to attack with the war boss to make that one token a 2 2. But he would. Because he'd be more inclined to kill the war boss. Mm. Well, let's see. I mean, something's getting through. Yeah. We're dealing damage this turn. It may be a 1 1, it may be a 3 3. All right, so two three and the one three are gonna block one thorn lieutenant. Sounds good. Two three is gonna block another one. Is he also gonna throw in the marshal? If he throws in the marshal, he can actually kill two thorn lieutenants this turn. And then so we get him for six. He would lose the marshal. All right, so neither of these would we're, die, right? Correct. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yep. But we're getting Woo! in for six. <laughs> All right, and by the way, our token lived. It's gonna be there next turn. This takes us. This helped me get the mythic last month. A deck exactly like this. So if we don't read, we're gonna pretty much always gonna minus three it and look for stuff. Unless we draw like a one mana or two mana thing or a one mana like what? Does he have sixteen damage here? Does he have sixteen damage? It's two, four, six, nine, twelve. Do they all have vigilance? Yeah. How did they all get vigilance? <laughs> oh, unbreakable he formation. Does he have sixteen? All Two, right. four, six. No, he he doesn't have sixteen. He has two, four, six, nine, uh, twelve. So this is basically we got to get shock off the top. I mean, do we want to trade with this guy? I don't oh, know. he's indestructible. Yeah. So we don't do any trading. We just go to four. This is the shock off the top. No. Well, the shock wouldn't even kill him because he gained. It would have been. Oh, that's healer's hack. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. I jinxed this with that 100% win rate. <laughs> we done did loss. Yeah. We definitely lost now. Because now these two guys just kill us. Yeah, they're just playing. Uh, but we still got game three. We could be 100% win rate on yeah. whole man. Well, let's see if we can. Um... We got him to one off three lanes. Let's see if we can uh, have him punt. Have a faster start this time, right? Go! And he misclicks. And we... <laughs> yeah, this is one of the biggest. The block. This is one of the biggest videos right now on, um, like, in Magic jokes, that the guy was like the chat lethal and there wasn't. And he's like, I'm gonna do exactly what you said. I'm gonna follow it. And the guy misclicks and not, doesn't block and dies. <laughs> like exactly like this situation. What? Four okay. damage yeah, getting through. Unfortunately, uh, the the uh, healer hawk also is gaining life. Oh, he figured out how to block everything. And then we. Our die. opponent's too strong. And at least we got to see more of his deck there too. Sure. So, is there anything we would change? Like, Maybe some coils here. Um. Yeah, coils seem like okay. Coil, could we, we drop lightning strikes for coils? I think dropping the four mana Domri for two coils seems pretty good. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, because, like, again, it's like we're not trying to get to that point in the game. Right? Yeah, it's an early game, too. And Vivian, like, Vivian would have done nothing there. Like, we didn't get the mana, but also, like, he had too many guys. Yeah. So having an early game Lava Coil just to get rid of something real quick, I think this will help out a lot. Basically, How does the new we just want to be... We just want to be... Well, we want to be... I think this is right. on one. I think so. we just keep this? Yeah, because we can get rid of three things, and yeah. by that time, hopefully, we, we draw can things. play the removal game until we start drawing some stuff. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and pay the two here and just get going. Yeah, that's fine. Because uh, what we can do is, with our second land next turn, get rid of that, and then we can attack in with the land world. Sure. So the or, new London or we Mulligan can just move. draw into a three drop right now and instantly that's play true. it. Yeah. A, a spellbreaker would be great. We have a lot uh, of those. Luton, the new... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'll just strike this down and then Healer's Hawk. Or strike the Healer's Hawk attack for one, right? You think that's... Yeah, I think it's, that's fine. Nothing crazy here. Uh, like we said, it was a, <laughs> if you just got in... So the new mulligan, instead of going... If we, do, we don't want to keep our seven, we go to six. Instead of scrying the one. Now we go down... We mulligan. We go to another seven. And since we've only done one... We look at the top card. Uh, crap, I totally messed it up. We get seven. One we don't like, we put on the bottom of our deck. Yeah. So then if I would maul like a second time, I would draw seven. Then since it's the second time, put two cards on the bottom of my deck. All the way down. But we're always looking at seven cards. I think this Ripjaw Raptor is going to take us to the house, man. Oh, it is. And that starts tomorrow just for that one event, I'm pretty sure. Speaking about going to the house, um, I'm pretty happy with Lava Coiling the Shield Mare here. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about this uh, three life. I just want to start getting this damage through. We can lightning strike, but lava cool here lava because it doesn't go face. Lightning strike does. Yes, and shield mirror gets some. It 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 hindered a lot of our blocks last game. Yeah, that result. You can even get if you want to get rid of that one one too, but that's up to you. Nah, I I, I think I'm going to use the land war to cast the growth chamber. That's I'm apt. Just swing that, in with that the rip jaw. Sounds good. This is where I talked about Ripjar. It's a great inclusion in these the, the newer versions. I was playing this on stream earlier, and someone thought you were going to get mad at me because I was playing Raptors. And since you're not a big fan of Raptors right now, <laughs> uh, that you would be sad. I, I, you know, here's the thing. I like watching good <laughs> basketball. I'm sad, though, that we're watching one team. Because if anybody doesn't know what we're talking about, the Golden State Warriors are in the finals against the Toronto Raptors. Uh, he found another, another shield mare. Ooh. Uh, if you Domri with the rib drawer after here, we get to draw, fight, right? We get to draw a card with yeah. against that two three. That feels pretty good to me. And we can still attack in with it because it'll only have two damage mm -hmm. against their one one. I like drawing what cards. Day with the the one thing is we won't be able to use this to deal with the shield mare, which would then make it not gain the three. Uh, we have the lightning strike. Well, oh, I'm going to say lightning strike. The shield oh, it still games, will. It's games. a spell or ability. So our ability oh, of the dom. this targets. Been. Yeah, yep. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay. Either way, we were screwed, but at least we're attacking for a buck. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Now, if he goes to hit this dome read, do we want to block with this elves? Hmm. I kind of feel like getting the plus one out of this is kind of good for us because we only have I don't three think land. he attacks. Huh? I don't think he attacks. I don't think so either, but I'm just saying like... Okay, oh, well. gosh! But see, because this this kind of replaces this anyway, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I make this block. Plus, it, so it's pump. It's giving us mana and pumping our dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like it's more important than a 1-1. One, one. We can use this to... Well, right now it doesn't do anything, but... I'll just lightning strike here. Okay. Well, we're definitely doing the plus anyway. Just to... yeah. We can lightning strike, or if you want to play a girl spellbreaker and just attack for a bunch. I kind of like just... just doing this. I was actually yeah. thinking we just double attack and do this adapt. That's that's too, that's good too. <laughs> There's so, so many lines here. There's not a wrong one. So we can also do the pump and still have mana for the lightning strike, right? Nope. Oh no, because that's three. This is three. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like doing the pump. Personally, you get in for a lot. Yeah. The only thing is, we may lose this our Domery. draws us another chamber guardian now. We may lose our Domery, but he goes to six. And if he only has one blocker, then. Yeah. So I guess yeah, we yeah, could yeah. keep one back. Just no. To protect definitely attack here. 
Yeah, because I, of what's going to happen. I, I think the five damage is worth more than the dome. Yeah, if he attacks Domri here, and if he plays a blocker, we just lightning strike the blocker. Yeah. So either we get to keep our Domri, or he, like, but he has five mana. He could also play two things. He could play two things, yeah. I guess that would be. Oh, looks like your old mouth. But I, I love how, like, the Domri, like, it basically turned this off from being a blocker. Yeah. Also, oh, yeah, it's a can't. Red creatures can't be blocked. Okay, sorry. Yeah, this, these can block them. Yeah. Ah. Wonder Strike. So that must have been sideboard. But he's right? still dead. Yeah, but we're dead because of Lightning And Gruel Spellbreaker. We had two deaths. That's true. <clears throat> Boom! 100% win rate. 100% win rate. I mean, look, we lost one in, in, a, in a set of... We won the match. Game, yeah, best of threes. We won the match. The match is what matters. All right, so there you go. That's... Uh, oh, man, we got a hack. So there you go. That's the, uh, that's the old Gruel Super Friends deck. Um, pretty sweet deck. Pretty Win cheap, too. Like, lands. Yeah. We talked about lands. Yeah, the land your base is parts. really cheap because you've only got uh, Rootbound Crag as the... What was it? Rootbound Crag and Stomping, Stomping Ground, Ground right? Because the, the Guild Gate is common. These are common. You use a lot of, like, just actual Those basic are free. Lands. Yeah, they're, they're like... Those are free, and we just have a lot of stuff. Like, this is a good entry-level deck. Sure. And there's a lot of things that you can be changed if you don't have some parts yeah. that uh, stuff can be subbed in. Yeah, and, like, Shock and Land War Elves and Lightning Strike, these are um, these are cheap cards. It does, I mean, look, these are rares and Mythic Rares, but actually very few Mythic Rares. Mostly just rares. And rares are easy to come by. Uh, all right, there you go. That's uh, That's the Gruul Super Friends deck. Go out and give it a shot. Uh, I think it's a, a, like you said, it's a deck that can take you all the way to Mythic, but also because the games can be fairly quick. If you just want to, like, get out of bronze quickly, get into, you know, gold, silver, whatever. Um, it's a good grind it'll deck. get you there. Yeah. This is a good, to like, in, like, if you want to get some packs, get your ranks up. Like, this is a good, good deck. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's, uh, let's end there. My name is Willie Dills. That's Lane the Main. You can find me on Twitter, at Willie Dills. He's at Lane the Main on Twitter as well. And uh, yeah, check us out next time for another Deck Tech with Dills and Lane. For science!